Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is your mid-month, December. Gemini is Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For personal readings, everything is on my website in the description below this video. Alright, let's begin. Gemini, this is a true love reading. Stay optimistic and deception. Okay, so someone sees that you're wearing a false mask. That's how they see you. You see uh, this situation as you need to keep, you know, a positive mindset here. Or you want this person to be more positive because they, they're very negative. They think you're, you're wearing a false mask. I think Scorpio had this. Um, yeah. So it could be vice versa as well. You could feel that someone is lying to you, is deceiving you. And this person just wants you to relax, to not think about anything negative right now about your relationship. So what's the overall energy? Let's see if you have anything to worry about, Gemini. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. So overall energy is about decisions. Is about you getting what you want. If you desire, if you decide to, if you want it, you get it, okay? So basically, this is the mentality uh, all you need to do is to decide if you want to devote yourself to to this person or not. What what is the um, overall energy? Now the positive in this relationship. Gemini mid month. Okay, so this could be a brand new connection with the new love, or you starting. It feels like brand new. It feels like you are starting over. New phase. It could be a new phase. Or this is someone recent. They need to keep an open mind. Um, not an open mind. Uh, a positive mindset. <laughs> okay. Not an open mind. But a positive mindset. What is the obstacle? Wow. Keep an open mind. Uh, well, I said it. It was coming out. The obstacle could be that, just that you uh, or this person feeling, you know, like they can adapt or you uh, have some expectations that they're not meeting your expectations. They may not be meeting your expectations here and it's telling you just uh, relax, keep an open mind and your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. So, there could be a um, differences here that even though there's differences, you, you just need to get to know better each other. Marriage in the outcome. So you already you could be already married, or you're thinking about marriage. I do see some of you will get married to this person. This someone new. If you haven't met them yet, it's coming. Your marriage partner. But uh, you may feel like you need some. Um, you know, uh, I see that you could be doubting or sense they could be they could be hiding something from you in the beginning. They're trying to deceive you. Now, if you are in a relationship or you meet someone and um, the obstacle is keeping an open mind because they could already, and you will know this, I feel it's not going to be a secret or it's not a secret for the ones that are in this situation, that one of you is married already. The problem is to accept the situation like that. Um, and stay positive about this relationship. And if um, if this is not the case, what's the outcome? I do see you could potentially uh, work on um, on the issues that you have. It could be family issues or 
just a situation that you feel with this new person that everything needs to be in place, like your family needs to accept or uh, your children, if you have children. But if this person has children from someone else, uh, someone could be causing some, uh, you know, that's why you need some drama and you need to keep an open mind. Yeah, separation, time apart. So, uh, yeah, because this person or you may be hiding a new person, a, a new connection. And you could decide separate, but that's not for all. Uh, if you're dealing with someone that's already taken and you're keeping an open mind, the separation will happen. I see the separation. They, they are ready to let go of this person for you. Now, there is some issues here uh, with this uh, previous relationships that you had and even your parents' relationship or this person has some um, difficulty in staying committed or you do because of um, you know could have been something that didn't work out especially if you have children or they have children from someone else um, not the same person that is going to separate to be with you but you do need to keep an open mind they could have a lot of kind of issues to or you have uh, issues releasing yourself from this family, uh, especially yeah, if you do have children, from this person and you need to heal or they going to need some time to heal. Because what I do see, even if you try with someone new or they try with you and you're the new person, it's going to be difficult if the issues keep coming up the issues about commitment or even though there is uh, some of you already thinking about getting married or you're going to think straight away in making things more official when you meet the new person just be mindful that there is still or you're dealing with someone that has this um, they need to forgive their parents first before they can be married maybe their parents were divorced and this is causing a lot of, um, or it's going to be um, troublesome to be in a relationship or in a marriage with them, or it, you know, it's going to end up in separation. But if you involve with someone that is already married, they're going to choose you, and you're the new person. They're going to choose you, it's Gemini. And they will separate. Stay optimistic. So that's why. Yeah. Look. Because the four ones is reversed. Stay optimistic. Because they're ending a relationship. To be with you. Now. Even if you're having trouble in your relationship. It's telling you to stay optimistic. With the um, uh, optimistic mindsets. And thinking. Again, this is recognizing where you have to work on the relationship and, you know, if you know that this person needs to heal these things, maybe you, need, you can help them heal and things can work out. I just feel like there is some issues here that is going to make you and this person stay apart for a while. It could be family um, or it's, it's to do with this uh, inability of being in a, committing to you or marrying, marrying you. And they need some time. Because this is only for mid-month, alright? How do you see... No, how do they see you? Mid-month Gemini, Gemini for Gemini. How do they see you? The Ace of Wands reversed. One more card. Okay, we've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, okay, so maybe they feel that you are not as passionate with them because you could have options or you need to 
do something about maybe an ex of yours with the king of cups reverse someone that is jealous okay or they feel that you're not emotionally available okay since you left someone someone really um put you in this emotional state where you can you can't you can't open up and this um this mask could be that you know they feel that you want to be with them just to hide something or uh feel a void could be vice versa all right so if this is your person that you feel some you know that you're not too sure about because especially it's uh, them their decisions on an emotional level here they could be as well a little bit jealous or uh, you feel some type of way here because jealousy definitely for some of you because of the seven of cups there's more options on their side you you have a feeling you have a feeling they have other options they're not the same they're not as available as they used to be Let's see what this is. How, well, how do they see you, Gemini? The snake. Yeah, again, you see, they see that you could be involved with another woman or man. Now, if you're the one who senses that this person is with someone else and you're the one who's been jealous and even been lacking the uh, motivation or passion approaching this per person in a, in a passionate way it's because you have this um, this on your mind that they could be a third party If it's not you, it's them. Okay, so a lot of people. The butterfly relationship evolving to the new phase. Yeah, this is what you wish here. And that things can, you can overcome this. And there's growth. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. So maybe some of you need to decide between two people. Or you need to make a decision yeah, to do with this karmic relationship that you um, still unable to let go. Or this could be for them because this is overall energy. They need to make a decision between you and, and the karmic. Okay. Because there is uh, resentment lessons uh, still. Maybe you're the karmic or maybe... This person has a, a karmic relationship with someone and needs to let go of completely. And the decision is going to be made. And I feel, I feel here, if you are married, they're going to want a separation. They're going to want divorce. Because you see, marriage, healing, family issues, you know, trying to... Uh, arrange this um, co-parenting or it's just it's just too much to keep going with this marriage or, or commitment there you have too much triggers too much um, resentment so if this was a previous person of yours you really need to let go of this resentment and, and decide not to allow this person to have some type of influence in your new relationship if you don't know the new person you will know very soon new person is coming in gemini mid month girl with a snake charmed or used feeling charmed or used some of you yeah, because they are still married, you feel used, you feel 
or this is how they feel, the new person is starting to feel used, that you are, you know, this is not really, it's not really love, they're not really emotionally available, or you're starting to feel that this person is not really emotionally available to you, they're just coming out of a bad relationship, one of you is coming out of a bad relationship, and yeah, it's, uh, it's like, um, replacing rebound type of thing and that doesn't that doesn't really work not especially for marriage okay if you're thinking about marrying someone you definitely need time a long time before making that commitment if you're coming out of a bad relationship or they are don't commit to them straight away uh, I mean it's just telling me you need to keep an open mind so it's best not to, because it will end in separation. But if you do things differently, you know, you may end up married. Because the marriage card is right here. So keep an open mind, what's the obstacle for Gemini? Lightning, a sudden change. Surprise. So there's something that happens that could shock you. This is shocking news as well. I'm going to clarify that. Shocking news. Let's see what this news is about for Gemini. It's the obstacle. It's the shocking news. Ooh, someone's been sneaky. Finding out. The hangman reverse. So someone uh, is realizing here, realizing that you could be sneaky or you could have, um, or you are realizing this, okay? For some, you could actually find out something, you know, messages or find out they're seeing someone. What's this? Uh, because with a keep an open mind is is really that or someone is going to give up suddenly changes their mind and gives up on this could be you or them okay it doesn't need to be everything for one for one of you uh, it could be that you just uh, they just change their mind and you see that they are giving up on on you know on committing to you or you suddenly change your mind or for others of you you could find out there's or something going on with a third party with a snake here and and also if you are doing that they're gonna find out okay girl with the snake new love the star card could be an Aquarius with the girl, a girl with a snake charm used. So someone is feeling used. Could be Aquarius. Um, hoping for new love. Some of you also. Hoping for someone new. The Knight of Swords. Again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Knight of Swords is reversed. So you can be quite ruthless. Reversed. He can also change his mind that things were going fast, but then, you know, because it's reversed, he could also change his mind. The Four of Swords, yes, he needs some time uh, to think, or he or she, or you do. Now, someone hoping here to hear from you or whoever is feeling used one of you could be hoping to hear from each other but it, the message is not coming through i feel only by aquarius season that's when things change for some of you okay aquarius season is almost aquarius season so end of jan for some of you, okay, end of January, karmic 
relationship. The magician, Virgo or Gemini energy here. So you could be in a karmic with someone and or closing a cycle with that karmic because you're ready now to do that. Okay, very soon you need to really decide to do just that manifesting this new world I feel you manifested or will be manifesting a new person so you should uh, continue to uh, have faith in this have faith in this relationship all right so Gemini I'm gonna go into the extended reading and see what happens next for some of you, it's definitely a separation, but not for all. Um, some time apart, possibly. They need some time, or you do. But you, uh, whoever has these issues with the previous person that they were with, needs to sort this out, okay? I will go into that. You can join me there if you uh, become a member of the channel. Uh, when you do, you can access for the whole month all the extended readings for every sign. The um, the join button is down there, be below this video. And also in the comment section, you can find the, the link to the extended reading. Comment section or description of the video. Okay. Thank you so much, Gemini. Um, take care. All the best. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.